Welcome back to the Web TV of OWF uh, 13. We're here with uh, Stephen Hardy, a software, senior software engineer at Red Hat. Welcome, Stephen. Hi. We're glad to have you here with us today. So uh, you're, you're actually you're leading, uh, you're involved with the, with the OpenStack Heat project. Could you give us an overview of, of, uh, of it? Yeah, sure. So um, I've been a core developer um, on the OpenStack Heat project for um, uh, quite some time now. I was the uh, PTL for the Havana cycle. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's an interesting project. Um, it provides orchestration for OpenStack. And so what that basically means is you can have a template definition, a declarative model of your infrastructure and applications, and you can feed that into Heat, and Heat will then translate that model, um, which you've defined in a template, into the API calls to the underlying um, uh, OpenStack API services. So um, what that basically allows you to do is, is access all of the functionality of OpenStack, all of the core um, integrated and core components of OpenStack, um, via a single template model. So, and uh, there's an upcoming release of, uh, of OpenStack Heat. What are some of the most important functionalities of uh, this release? Yeah, that's right. So the, the, the integrated um, uh, coordinated release for all of OpenStack happens in a couple of weeks' time, and that's the ha codenamed Havana release, and that was going to be the second release this year. Um, and uh, we've been working very hard. We added about 42 um, new features during that cycle. Um, but uh, some of the most interesting ones are we added um, a, a scheduler re-implementation, which allows us to parallelize um, a lot of the operations which we are doing the orchestration actions previously happen one after the other in a serialized fashion and now non-dependent operations are parallelized which allows things to happen much more quickly um, another thing which we've done is work very very hard trying to catch up with the functionality that's being added to Neutron which is the software networking component of OpenStack and so we've exposed um, a number of new features which were added um, during this cycle into Neutron for example VPN as a service um, firewall as a service um, load balancer as a service functionality um, we've also added um, support for an initial um, native template language, which we've called HOT, um, which is the heat orchestration template language. This is basically a DSL that allows you to um, specify your templates in a language other than um, cloud formation compatible syntax. It's a simplified YAML um, syntax, and we're planning to build out the functionality of that over time, such that top level translations from other languages, such as um, Tosca, may, may be possible in the future. Um, okay. and, uh, and this morning you had a talk about integration between uh, Heat and uh, Silometer, yeah, another project. So yeah. what could what was the outcome of the discussion? Uh, so yeah, I ha uh, had a joint talk with Nick Barset um, uh, from the Silometer project this morning. Um, one of the other items which we've done during Havana is to have um, integration with um, Alarm and a metric collection functionality which has been added um, to Silometer recently. Um, and the advantage of that is basically it gives us a much more scalable alarming mechanism. Um, we don't have to maintain metrics and alarm evaluation within Heat anymore. And it's basically going to give a much more robust and flexible interface for alarming, which we use for auto-scaling and HA actions within Heat. So, and a last question. So, what about new features, new exciting features on the roadmap of yeah. Heat? So we're, we're already planning what we're going to be doing for the next release, which is codenamed Icehouse. Um, we'll be doing that for about the next six months. Um, it's yet to be um, decided exactly what features, but we're going to be developing the native template language, the hot um, DSL, which I mentioned. Um, we're going to be working out ways to integrate software configuration, existing software config tools, for example, um, Puppet and Chef. Um, we're going to figure out ways which we can leverage those tools because we don't want to replace existing software config methods. We want to integrate with those and provide users with a way to leverage their, um, their existing um, investment in those tools. Um, and finally, we're going to be looking at ways um, to improve the performance of Heat and make it more scalable. Well, thank you very much for being with us, Stephen, and uh, good luck with Heat. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.